I'm on my way to go ask Lucy to the school dance and I'm feeling pretty nervous about it. I haven't really felt this nervous since I asked her mom to the school dance 20 years ago or something. It was a long time ago. Um, I remember thinking she was gonna say no. I was almost sure of it and I was like mumbling and stuff and so much so that when she actually ended up asking me, which was a surprise, I was gonna, I was trying to utter out the words, do you wanna go to the school dance? Well, um, what are you doing this weekend? And you know, well, like, can I hold your books? And, um, I'm not doing anything this weekend. So you wanna go to the dance with me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's supposed to be me asking you to the dance, so let's let's back up and try again. Do you wanna go to the school dance with me? <clears throat> In my mind, she was gonna be like, like, I guess, whatever. But no, she was really excited. She was like, yeah, I wanna go to the school dance with you. And it was, it was a really good time. I remember that. I wanna do this for Lucy because what I've learned in, um, in all these years is that being in a relationship, you have to know what you're willing to accept, the good and the bad. I want her to have a high expectation of what somebody would do for her. Like I want her to not accept the minimum. I want her to accept more than the minimum. And I want her to do more than the minimum. I want her to put always the maximum effort into everything that she that she does and she tries to do. And anybody that she loves, I want her to love with more than the minimum. So today, um, I'm gonna show Lucy what what loving somebody like is by doing more than the minimum. It might backfire. She might say no. I'm a little bit nervous about it. We'll see. you ever